In my previous video we covered the new Anthropic Model Context Protocol and a lot of people were super interested in this so I thought we can actually try to build it out a bit and actually do some practical stuff with it. So today we're gonna kind of build upon the featured, uh, you can see here we have a featured server that is connected to GitHub and I've been playing around with trying to expand this a bit so I added some of my own stuff to this server so we can now actually go get issues from our repo we can merge pull request that was not possible i also have some plan to expand this tool even more to give it more uh, opportunities that we can do with our github uh, but today i just want to show you can how we can create a repo add code to the repo merge uh, our pull request how we can grab an issue fix that issue merge it and do a lot of stuff with our github repos i thought it was pretty cool and it's for me personally that is not so good with github a game changer so i'm just going to dive straight into it and i'm going to show you kind of how i altered this server here uh, to kind of do my own tooling on top of the anthropic github uh, server here so the way i actually added some more tools on top of this uh, github mcp server is i just cloned the server repo right put it into my uh, yeah context here on cursor and I just used the prompt here. I would like to add some new features to the GitHub server. Read issues uh, for a given repo and merge uh, pull requests, right? Help me fix this, place. And that's basically all I did. And I added all the files from this GitHub thing we can see here. GitHub server, right? As context. And cursor 3.5 or Claude 3.5 on cursor. Wrote the code for me to actually we can use that... Um, that uh, server now with um, the new tooling. Okay, there's some more stuff here, but basically we just had to update our Claude desktop config.json to actually add this. So I'm gonna show you how my setup is now. I'm just gonna remove my token so I don't show that. So this is the way our NPC server with GitHub now looks. You can see I have my own path to this uh, index.js here, right? Uh, yeah, and I need my token in here, but I just removed mine and that is basically all I did So now I'm kind of running this server locally with my added tooling on top of that that gives us the opportunity to do a bit more than the Featured server on the anthropic uh, github, right? So I think we're just gonna head over to the desktop tool and, and I'm just gonna show you how we can do different stuff on the Claude desktop app now with the, the connection to github through like an AI agent that can help us do stuff so let's just open up the desktop app and start doing some, yeah, interesting, cool things, I think. So now that we have updated our Claude desktop JSON, right, we can open up the desktop app. So if we open up this now, you can see we have 12 different MCP tools. And the get issues tool and the merge pull request tool is the one I added on top of the already existing tools. So now we can do that. I also have some plans. Maybe I need more tooling and I can just add that on top of this server that I kind of made my own, right? So I'm going to show you how this works now, right? So if we uh, just go to the app here and let me come up with a prompt. So we're just going to start by creating a repo. I think I'm just going to call it Bitcoin price or something. And then we want to add a Python code that can actually go fetch the Bitcoin price. So let's just use the prompt, create a new repo called BTC price. This repo should have a Python code that can fetch the Bitcoin price using the coin get to API. Okay, so you can see when we run this now, we're going to start connecting our MCP tools. The first thing we want to do is connect our create uh, repository tool from go, uh, GitHub local, right? Okay, now I'll create two files, requirements, better set price.py. And we are writing the code. We're going to try to push this. Uh, one thing I noticed when we are using this is that we get a lot of errors up in here, right? You can see here, but it seems to work even though these errors occur. I can't really, I tried to fix them, but I can't really get rid of them. Uh, but in the future, we will get rid of this, right? Uh, okay, so see, we have, it says it has some issues, but uh, in my experience, this works anyway. So we're just going to see what happens. Now it's going to create an update of file. Uh, okay, that's fine, I guess. So let's go to our repo now and refresh this. So in our connected GitHub now, you can see we created a new repo called BTC price. We have our Python code here, right? Pretty cool. That was quick. And we have a requirements.txt with the request, right? So that was pretty quick, if you ask me. Everything was pushed to my repo. Everything is kind of ready to go. And now uh, I kind of want to... Uh, do some more work on this right so i want to create a issue here so let's just go here and do a new issue 
and I'm gonna request an upgrade on this code. So here I'm just gonna do a title, BTC to knock, good job on the code, this is not an issue, but I would love to see a Bitcoin to knock feature, can you implement this? So I'm just gonna submit this issue to this repo, right? Okay. And uh, now we're gonna go back to our desktop app, right? Uh, uh, we could start a new chat and just try that. So now I'm gonna ask to check our repo if we have any issues and ask the agent uh, to fix it and implement this into our code. So now I just wanna do, can you check my repo? Uh, we paste in the repo for any new issues. If there are any issues, address them right away. So let's do that. So now hopefully this uh, MCP server will actually use the fetch or get issues tooling, right? Okay, so we're gonna try to do that. Uh, I see there's an open issuing uh, asking to add beta set to knock a conversation. Let me check the current code to see how we can do this. Okay, I'll update the code to do this. Okay, so it's just gonna do that. Here's the updated code. So now it actually went ahead and checked the issues we had, right? Pretty good. Looked at all this. So it's gonna update the file. You can see we get some errors here, but I think it's gonna work anyway. Uh, but let's just see now. Uh, I also forgot to mention I added a close issue code or tool. So we're gonna try to do that now, if this works. Uh, it's trying to actually update our file to add this better set knock conversation, that's pretty cool. So it's gonna be interesting to see if this closes the issue uh, itself now, or we have to ask it to close the issue. But let's go back and actually check what happened now. So if we go to our code now, you can see even though it didn't re register that it actually made some changes, that is something probably with the tooling. You can see the code is updated. So now we kind of have, uh, yeah, I guess we can zoom in a bit. We have the option now to show uh, in knock, right? So we can both have the information in USD and knock. So that was perfect. So we did update the code based on the issue here, but it didn't close the issue. So I'm gonna ask our agent to close this issue now since, is, since it was implemented. So I'm just gonna do the Bitcoin to knock issue, looks fixed now, so please just close it. So I help uh, close the issues, right? Issue number one, that was closed. Uh, number three, okay, so I successfully closed the issues. Uh, yeah, there were some other things here, okay. But let's go back here now and refresh. Boom, okay, so that was closed, perfect. So you can see this works very good. Uh, th I think the next thing I wanna do is ask if our agent could just take a look at this code here, right? And come up with a new feature that, uh, and make a pull request for it, right? So let's just start a new chat and do like, in this repo, uh, try to improve the code by adding a way to display the latest Bitcoin price using matplotlib, make a PR with this upgrade. So let's see now if our uh, GitHub agent here is gonna try to do that. So it says, uh, it's gonna fork this repo, it's gonna create a new branch, get the code, make improvements, push and create a PR. Okay, uh, you can see we get some errors here, but uh, let's just ignore them for now. Uh, it seems to be working even though it looks like uh, we have some issues. Okay, so you can see now it says it's gonna try to improve version, we're using matplotlib. Uh, so you can see here we are actually writing some more code here to our existing code. So now it's gonna try to create a pull request directly. Okay, interesting. So it's gonna write a description. Uh, okay, so it says it has some issues, but I think if we go here now and update, you can clearly see, okay, we have a pull request, admit matplotlib uh, visualization for this history. And if you zoom in a bit, you can see this PR adds visualization dependencies and what's gonna happen. Let's see if we wrote some code here. Yeah, you can check the diff here, right? We added some more code to this. So you can see uh, we have a pull request now and that's fine. So we're just gonna start a new chat. So we're just gonna ask our AI agent here now to actually review the pull request and uh, merge it if it looks good. So I'm just gonna do check if my repo has any PRs. If it has, review it. If it looks good to you, merge it. So that is gonna, the only instruction we're gonna give it now. So hopefully it's gonna try to use the get issues tool. Why, why does it got try to get the issues? That's a bit strange. Uh, okay, as you can say, you can see one open pull request. Okay, add admit 
uh, matplotlib, okay, so it looks at it. Uh, I think this pull request looks good and would benefit this project. Let me merge it for you. Uh, it says it has some issues merging this, but I think it actually did it. Yeah. So if you go to pull request and here you can see this was merged. Pretty cool. So you can see if you go to our branches now, you can see we added this add not support feature. Uh, we add matplotlib visualization. This was from this pull request, right? So yeah, I think it looks pretty good, actually. So <laughs> it's just a different way to work. I'm not so good at GitHub. So for me, this is super helpful. And it's gonna kind of change the way I work with GitHub. Uh, I'm gonna show you some other stuff that is a bit more concerning, but let's just test out uh, a few more things here So you can see this repo is still missing a readme file. Uh, we need that So I'm gonna ask our github agent to actually write this readme file for us and let's see how well that is gonna work So I'm just gonna copy this repo. Let's go here and let's do a new chat and let me do the prompt here so I'm just gonna do in my repo, we are missing a readme file, create a well-structured professional readme file for this repo. So, oops, so hopefully now uh, our agent is gonna fix this and I can be just hands off. So it kinda looked at the get file content to actually check this. So it's gonna check the requirements to understand the project. Now I'll create a comprehensive readme MD file for your repository. Uh, so we can scroll down here, you can see we are writing this file now and hopefully it's gonna be able to create this. Uh, yeah, we'll see. It says it has some issues with this. We might have to go into this, but let's just see if it's gonna add it anyway. If not, yeah, we'll find another way to do this. So let's refresh this now, and boom, we got a readme file. So that was pretty quick, right? Looks pretty good. We have the API integration, contributing, how you can do that. We have the license, MIT, data provided by CoinGecko. How long did that take me? 30 seconds to write this very good readme file, something I don't like to do. Structure is perfect, everything is explained perfectly well here, right? How to install it, git clone this, cd, pip install and run it. So that is what we're gonna do now. So let's copy this, let's just open up our terminal here. And let's paste, let's clone this, right? Good, let's cd. Uh, okay, we did that. Good. And what did our readme file say? We need to install this. Okay, so let's install the requirements. Great. And the final thing is gonna be to run this. Okay. Okay, so we need to install matplotlib. That was not updated in our requirements file. So I'm just gonna install it and let's run it. Boom, we got it. So that was pretty cool, right? You can see we have some seven day change here. And yeah, I just like this very much. It's so nice to work with for someone who is not that good using Git, right? How easy with us now? I think we got a pretty professional looking repo here. We have a readme file. We have, uh, yeah, so we can do a bunch of stuff here. Let's say we get an issue, we have a pull request, we can review it using our agent. Uh, but this was it for my demonstration of how I can use my tool. So I don't know if people are interested in actually getting this, um, this uh, since I actually changed up some of the servers here, I added some more tooling to this GitHub server. Just let me know in the comments if you wanna have this server and actually use it yourself. Uh, I can just add a few more tools and I can upload it to GitHub and you can just download this server if you want to try it out yourself. But it's pretty cool now. But overall, I'm super hyped by this. I think it's going to be so cool and I have some plans building out other servers. I have kind of been ex uh, experimenting. I tried to, I actually tried to create an OpenAI API server so we can actually run the OpenAI API GPT-4.0 or 01 inside of our cloud desktop apps. That was pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, there are some stuff being added here all the time. I think they added, was it Sentry? I'm not quite sure. But they have added some new MPCP servers here and it's pretty cool. But for me, this GitHub thing has been super helpful because I'm not so good on Git. Like, um, I know a few things. Uh, I'm not an expert, but this really helps me. Uh, but I don't use it on other people's 
uh, open source projects. I just use it on mine to kind of be quick to push to, I can write code here, push it to a repo. I can handle issues and stuff. So it's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, hope you enjoy this. Hope you learned something. Maybe you want to try it out. Let me know. I might upload the MPCPS, MCP server I built for this GitHub. Uh, if you want, let me know in the comments and have a great weekend. Happy Thanksgiving. It's a bit late, but yeah. Anyway, uh, we speak soon and have a great weekend.